Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Taterbuggin. I am going to paint today. So, it's something that I think is really easy. I'm gonna kinda of walk you through it. So, if you wanna make it, uh, or something similar for Christmas gifts this year, might be a good idea. Be very inexpensive to do with stuff that you've already got. So, that's always a bonus. Um, I am having some trouble with my internet out here this afternoon. Um, and it went, I lost a connection right before I was supposed to go love. Hey, Karen, there's Marjorie and Bertha. How are y'all doing? Hey, Cindy, my sweet friend. Okay, so let me get going down here. I hope y'all are having a great day today. I have all the windows open, the doors open. It's like, and listen, no air conditioner. I kind of love it. That thing's loud. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. This this internet out here is giving me fits today, but I hope it's coming through okay. Hey, Debbie. There's Patty and Carol, Maria and Charlotte. Y'all come on in. I'm still waiting on this down here, but I can see up here. Hey, Tony. Hey, Janet. So I just, once again, went scouring around this mess of a room to find something that I could use. Still waiting on that thing. So while I'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all while I'm waiting for that. Hey, Karen, watching from Weedsport, New York. Oh, so happy you're here. There's Sheila and Carol from Virginia. Carol sent me a hundred stars. Thank you, Carol, that's so sweet. Hey, Betty. Hey, Ellen and Vicki. Um, it's trying. It's trying down here, y'all. So, I found this, just a piece of wood that I had in my stash, because we got a lot of that around here, and I just like the size and shape of it. Um, so we're going to use this. Look, it's even, I don't know, it's all rough on the back. Looks like it got planed off. It's got a little rough right here, but I don't care. It's going to be just fine. And you can use, um... If you want to get, just grab a piece of cardboard. Honestly, thick paper would work. A piece of wood, a canvas, any of that will work for this project today. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on it. You're going to dig into your paints because most of you, I think, probably have some. Hey, Vanetta, there's Bonky and Liz and Marie. I wish I could see y'all down here. I could, I could actually see it better. Another cute top. Lori, thank you. Another bell lily. If I can ever get on down there, I'm going to pin you a comment <laughs> with the link with the discount code again. Hey, Sherry. Oh, Marcy, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, thank you. You are so sweet. Thank you. And Brenda's talking to Allison. Hey, Allison. Ann, watching from Texas. Good afternoon. The Black Farmhouse. Tell me your name. I'm happy you're here. Oh, Cindy, that was sweet to say. Oh, thank you so much. I wish, let me see if I can do it yet. It's not even moving down here. <clears throat> it's always got to be something. And I promise I'm going to get started here if, if my, I don't, I don't know if it's my internet or if it's my old laptop. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm just stuck down here. Um, oh, y'all, can you talk amongst yourselves for just a second? This is terrible. I've never had this much trouble, y'all. Okay. Just a second. You know... You win some, you lose some. This may be one I'm losing today because nothing's moving down there. So I may have to work up here, which leaves me at a disadvantage for sure. Okay, maybe I'm getting somewhere here. Is it, okay. are y'all having any trouble? Oh, Jana, okay. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, thank you, Tony. Hey, Carrie. 
Carrie, yes. <laughs> we've been we've been working on um, those orders today, and then he had to stop to fix the dryer on laundry day. I had mountains of laundry, and um, yeah, so it went out. But he fixed it. He's handy. He's very handy. But he's back over there working on them now. We we need. He needs some help. <laughs> That thing's bugging me. So I'm going to go on and start painting this piece of wood while that decides what it's going to do. And when and if it does, uh, y'all can see it fine. Good. When and if it does, I'll get that link put up for you. It's the same discount code that I always give you, but it's just a link directly to this top if you're interested in it. That's what I like to do for y'all when I wear one of these. I'm going to just do this so simply. This is my Anita's Metallic White. No, I'm not using this first. That threw me off. I'm off my game here. Let's do this. This is the one I want to use first, I think. Mm -mm. Antique white. <laughs> if this is y'all's first time here, I apologize. I'm not usually this quite this much of a mess, but, you know, I'm having a devil of a time with my laptop where I normally see your comments, I can I can see them a little bit here. Hey, Deborah. Oh, did you, Nancy? Thank you so much. We're getting on them. Hey, Luann, how are you? And Rolanda's not having any problems. Good, good. I'm the only one having problems. It's probably that computer. So let me let me try something else. And then I'm going to just stop. I'm going to give up. Okay, all I'm going to do is squirt some, some of this antique white out. I found this cool little thing at Dollar Tree. I don't know what you're supposed to use it for. I really don't. But I know what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to spread paint that I don't want to look painted. I just want it to look messy. Can y'all see what I'm doing here? Let me back it up some. And so I'm just using this little tool. You can use a credit card, an old credit card, a palette knife, or if you want to just paint your solid, you can do that too. I just didn't want it to look, I didn't want it to have that perfect look. I want it to look messy. Okay, now I'm going to wipe off the excess here. So we have this. It's just a mess. And so it looks like it's gonna try to start. I've got some heavy glops there. So I'm gonna get rid of those because I wanna dry each layer in between. So let's say you've got a piece of cardboard that you just cut out. This one would be really fun if you use cardboard to just tear the edges and you know, leave it irregular. You're hearing the bug zapper and the dogs barking and all the outside noise. Oh, what did you find? Uh, Where did you find it? Dollar Tree in the crafter's corner. Is that what that's called? Crafter's corner? Anyway, the craft section where you would find any of the crafting tools or... Um, What else is in there? Y'all help me out. Have you seen these? This was kind of a new thing, and when I saw it, or I mean, it was new to me. I don't know if they're new, but when I saw it, I immediately thought, okay, I can scrape paint great with this. I have a feeling this is like a tool used for Crafter Square. Yes, thank you. I'm glad you did too, Janice. Um, I bet you used this with your Cricut to, um, or, you, you know, your transfers, so you can get those to adhere, but I'm going to use it to scrape paint with. I guess I should have gone and got my other laptop. This old work laptop isn't, isn't helping. Yes, thank you, Michelle, by the Craft Paint and Brushes. Hi, Susan. Yeah, Bertha, Craft Your Square. That's what I couldn't think of. 
Okay. I hope this is going to turn out. In my mind, it, it's going to be fun. We'll see. And hopefully some of y'all will like this. I've had so much fun baking and crafting with y'all Sunday that I'm thinking about making that a regular Sunday afternoon thing through the holidays. What do y'all think about that? And I'm not going to be stepping on Mr. Tater Buggins' toes because I'm just going to be doing... Um, like Christmas baking and things like that, things that, that I've tried before, which he doesn't do a lot of them, you know, when he does his lives. And he already knows what he's cooking for y'all this week. I just don't know if it's going to be Thursday or Friday yet. He is going to be making an easy lasagna. Okay, I'm just very carefully running this across the still wet parts, which is making a really neat texture. You won't see a lot of this anyway, but now let me show you what I've got. So here's where we are. It looks like an ugly mess right now, I know. Okay, y'all would like that. Good, 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 good. I'm, I hope I can do it. That's what I want to try to do. Okay, next, I want to take a little bit of my gold. This is folk art. This is my favorite. It's always been my favorite gold. Uh, it's a metallic... Does it have a name on it? I thought it had a name. It doesn't. No, sorry it does, pure gold. That was not easy to see, but it's folk art. So on this one, I'm just gonna put some little dots of paint, the gold paint, kind of around the edge. No, I'm not gonna play right now. We're talking to our friends right now. I wish y'all could see him, he's going listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> You're doing what? Uh, let's see. Yes, please. Bacon craft. Okay. Came on late. What did you use on the wood? So this is just an old piece of wood I had in my stash. We have all kinds of, you know, just old wood. <laughs> that was sass talk. It was. You're going to have to go. He's trying to get me to... to place ball with him and I'm, I'm not doing it. Okay, so I just dripped some gold around the edges. Y'all don't have to be, you know, you don't even have to be careful with this part. We're just kind of making a, what's going to end up being a kind of a gold, um, not a frame really, but sort of. Now let me show you this. That's all we got there. And y'all forgive me if I'm missing comments. I really rely on this one. Um, <laughs> I really rely on this one. And I have no, it's just blank where the comments should be because this laptop is a dinosaur. All right, let's hit this with the heat gun. Oh, the white on the board. Sorry, it is this... Um, Antique white from Anita's. You could use regular white paint if you wanted to. That was just my choice. Um, it, a lot of it's going to be covered up anyway. You don't even have to do this background if you don't want to. This is just what I wanted to try today for this live. Um, okay, I'm not going to worry about getting that completely dry because that's just kind of our edging. Now, I think blocks I've got to make. I'm going to get this out. Instead of um, squirting out the black right onto my board, I think what I want to do is take it a little bit at a time because I don't want to go overboard with it. Let's see how this is going to work. This is all an experiment. My little thing, there it goes. So I'm just gonna dip into the black on here and start scraping it into the middle part here. 
And y'all are at this point, I'm sure you're thinking, especially if you're new here, what have I happened upon? This woman's crazy. <laughs> Scraping paint on a piece of wood? What? I promise it's going to come together. Yeah, Leanne, it just popped up. I don't know when you asked that, but I'm just using a piece of scrap wood that I found in here. It looks like a warehouse with big windows upside down. Ah, I love your creativity, Pamela. That's cool. And you're also thinking, um, how, how is this going to be a Christmas gift? I don't blame you for thinking that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this part, if you want to just um, paint it, go for it. But I have to do it a little different, of course, and make it look, you know, different. Let me see if I can put this link in here now, if it'll let me. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I doubt y'all need it, but just in case, I like to have it here. We'll try that. All right, I want this a little bit more solid right in here. And then we get to do the fun part, the real part of this. And then you'll see why we're gonna have a black background here too. But I could see this done on any anything you've got. Is that gonna work? Is it working? Am I here? Oh, okay, Betty, I will. There we go. Maybe that'll let me, you've at least got the link. Let's try this. Let's go up higher. Down a bit. Because it's more important than you see this than me. All right. Do I want more black? A little bit, a little bit more. But I just want the gold to be on the outside. And see my comments, I don't believe are rolling right now. Maybe they are, maybe. A little bit more black over here. That ought to do it. Now, let me hold it up and show it to you. That's probably all we're going to need of that. Actually, I'm going to be working with it this way, and it looks like a disaster. I understand that. But we're going to fix it and make it pretty. And it's rolling up there, and it's not down here, so it is what it is. I'll just have to keep trying to look up here and squint. Now it's going, okay. Angle the camera down a bit. More like that. Okay. Let's hit it with the heat gun, and let me see if I can see your comments still. Is that a better angle? Oh, thank you, Allison. <laughs> thank you. Today's kind of going off the rails. I'm going to try one more time while I'm drying this to refresh this page and see if I can see the comments better. Okay, Janet, good, good, good. You'll have to watch the replay. Just got on. Oh, okay. Curiouser and curiouser. Hey, 
Yeah, I'm telling you, it's about to, you're about to see where, where my crazy brain's going. I just don't want this black background to mix with what I'm going to put on top of it. That'll kind of mess it up, so I really need to um, dry it pretty good in between each layer. So yeah, if y'all decide to do this background, just be sure to dry it between each layer of the background. We've got pumps, just scrape them out and hit it with the dryer. Okay, that ought to do. Now, let's get going on with the fun part. Okay, I hope y'all know, some of you know that I, okay, now you have my attention. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Tony, for for saying that. That's really sweet um, for calling it that. I have been collecting old hymnals for years now. I love to paint on the pages. I love to craft with the pages. We discussed it yesterday. I spent the afternoon with Elizabeth and Lee, um, and Elizabeth was saying she can't bring herself to tear out pages of a hymnal, and I get that. Like, I would never tear out pages of a Bible, but I have torn out more pages in hymnals than I can tell you, and I've painted on them, I've framed them, I have made all kinds of things out of them, and the way I see it is this would be sitting in a thrift store or somebody's attic or basement, not being appreciated, and this way it can become a piece of art that somebody might enjoy. So what I'm doing today, this, this one in particular has these beautiful um, yellowed pages I just love the color. When I want something really, really antique looking, sorry y'all, antique looking, I pull out this one. And it's just Songs of Love and Praise. I think I found this one at an antique mall here in town years ago. But you just gotta, you know, keep your eyes out, uh, keep your eyes open when you're thrift store shopping for, so, you know, old song books are great. They don't have to be hymnals. I have some big, you know, those big sheet music books that are old, and I use those a lot. I used one as the background Sunday in my craft. So, what I did to prep for this is I got out a sheet of um, printer paper, just plain old printer paper. And I set it on my wood, so you would set it on whatever it is you're gonna be painting on. And I just sketched. Now there's, d don't freak out about it, cause it's really, really easy. Um, still no comments there, y'all still with me? Put the camera back up a smidge. Not like that, let's try that. And as I had it here on this board, I drew a little oval in the middle. Seriously, just a little oval. I drew another skinnier oval above it. And I just started sc scribbling out a wing. It's gonna be an angel. And I kept scribbling this wing until it was the shape that I liked, which was this. It's just a scribble. But I kept erasing parts of it and scribbling around it. That's what you do. Then, I folded it in half. And I cut that one wing out that I had gotten the shape that I wanted. So that when you open it up, of course, you've got both wings. So that's where we are right here. And they're gonna sit Let's see, I want right about here. But we're gonna make those wings out of the sheet, the sheet music. And now I want, 
I want a little bit more black. I want it to come out here behind the wings. I really, really do. So I kind of made those wings a little big. Well, wait a minute. Let me see. Let me try something. So you get to follow along with my thought process on this whole thing. Okay, so I just need a little bit more up here. Let me just do that real quick. Because, you know, you get a vision in your head and you want it to look that way. Y'all hanging in there with me? Oh, Artist Toss the Taters, thank you so much. Try not to. What these are going to be are your little, um, it's going to be a template for your sheet music. Bonnie, oh, I missed that. Bonnie, I have you a link. I did see that. Just grabbed the brownies out of the oven. Oh, Penny, that sounds so good. I'm hungry. I don't know why. I ate lunch. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do... You know what? I don't think I have to use two pages. It isn't really going to matter which side I trace this out on either because... Both sides have music on them. Uh, I think I have a share the wealth card. What? <laughs> oh, y'all are sweet, 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 sweet. Um, I, I feel like today is just a hot mess. I really do. And I was so prepared. I really was. It, this is what makes me so mad. It, when we can't, when I can't see and interact with y'all, it really upsets me. And I just frankly can't, can't see your, I miss so many comments when I have to look at that phone. This doesn't have to be perfect. And it, you know, if you're confident enough to do it, just get out your sheet music and draw your, your wings. They don't have to be, Sarge, hush. They don't have to be symmetrical. I'm sure wings aren't really symmetrical anyway. I just wanted to show y'all an easier way to do it in case you didn't feel like drawing it out. I mean, sketching it loosely on your music especially if you don't have a lot of music sheets to work with you don't want to mess it up and hopefully if y'all hang with me in the end we're going to have something really pretty and you'll have a, a fun idea to possibly make for yourself or even for some christmas gifts that is not hard at all so i've got those just sketched out onto my music And these pages are so old, I almost, you know, the pencil almost cut right through the, the page for me. See, that did. Wow, it really did. When you have all the windows and door open, you really can't hear everything. <laughs> Neighbors and all. Right, there's one wing. Look at that, that's so, that's so great. I kind of like it like that. I wish I had just pressed down a little harder and it would have, the pencil would have just kind of torn it and I like that edge. As y'all can tell, I don't like perfect. I like imperfections. There's something about it I'm not, I'm 
Let me try something. I'm gonna try to trim down each side a little bit. There are just, it feels a little bit bigger than I want it to be. I'm missing y'all. Oh, Haley. Did you, were your ears burning? I was just saying we went shopping yesterday. Um, I am making a mess mostly. I'm trying to make an angel. And so I did a, just a really simple background. This is a piece of wood. We're cutting the wings out of an old hymnal page. So you can see you're getting an idea of how we're, we're starting out. Now, I'm just laying those right there. I'm just trying to figure out the placement I want. So maybe, maybe like that. And my, oh, thank you, Carrie. Carrie, you're so, so oh, we're over 300 on a two today? <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that. Y'all are amazing. All this going on up here while I'm making a mess down here. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take my little chalk pencil. I think if I can find it, if not, I'm just going to take my piece of chalk. Oh, come on, where's my chalk pencil? I didn't realize I was gonna do do this part, so that's what, here, wait, 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 wait. That's it. Mm. Ooh, what else can go wrong? I'm better not say that today. What else can go wrong? That's not good, because something else could. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I use a big piece of chalk. That's fine. Now, can y'all see what I'm doing? Here's where I'm gonna do, it's just a simple oval. If you've got an oval template, use it. That's fine. But I'm gonna have an oval right in here. You know what, I'm gonna go on and put these wings down. That's what I'm gonna do. And as I go, I'm just winging it. Oh, y'all are sweet to toss those taters. Thank you, Jerry. So sweet. So maybe I'll just move the wings like that. That'll be good. That'll be fine. Yeah. And get me a little sponge brush and then use this sheet of paper let's just put some Mod Podge on the back I think next time I need to keep the windows and doors shut so you can press when we hear all this noise okay one wing. Well, I wish I could. I wish I could see what y'all were saying without having to do this. It just won't let me. <laughs> Sad. What I should have done when I started having all this trouble right in the beginning is I gone and gotten that other, the laptop I actually, you know, it, that works better. This one is. Very sad, very sad. I just know any day it's just gonna bite the dust. All right. Okay, there. We have our wings. Boy, I hope this I hope this turns out to look like something. Don't y'all? Okay, now we're gonna chalk out this oval. I mean, that's just simple. And you know what? I think I'm gonna, this is why I use chalk. I think I'm gonna move it up a little bit. We're just gonna do that. We're gonna move this up a little bit right here and then I'm just gonna 
kind of, did you hear that sound effect? <laughs> I just realized I was doing the sound effect. She doesn't need that big a hip. Let's make her go out here. And she's gonna kind of flow. Do you see how I'll just keep drawing it out until I kind of like the shape of it? Because she's just a, just a pretty little angel. And then we'll have, I'm not gonna draw that part out. This may or may not end up what she's gonna look like. That looks pretty horrible right now, but I'm hopefully gonna be able to fix it. This, I'm gonna use my AC Flesh from Ceram Coat for her little head. Again, just a simple little oval shape, which I may make a little smaller. She didn't need that big of a head. Um, this paintbrush, just a filbert brush. Does anybody say anything? Hey, Gail, I'm glad you're here. You missed all you missed was just a bunch of mess. I've been having technical issues and just kind of making messes here. Now, seriously, y'all, that doesn't get any easier than that. We're keeping this very primitive, very simple. A couple of swipes with your paintbrush. I don't know why I put that much paint down. Now for this part, this is where I'm gonna use the metallic white from Anita's for her gown. Maybe the head should be higher. I can fix it. Let me do that. And then I'll bring her gown one's gonna be fun to fix. I'll tell y'all everything's fixable and it is. She might have a turtleneck on. <laughs> now I'm gonna work with it. We'll fix it. I gotta see if this white metallic is gonna cover the black enough. It might take a couple of coats. dip into this black and we're gonna fix that right around her head. And no more turtleneck. Y'all with me? Hey Dana, how are you? I'm having problems today. I can't see anybody down here and I can only squint and look up here to see everybody. Let me hit this with the heat gun and do a couple of coats. I'm gonna try again while, while we're drawing it. Oh, you're very generous. Who said that, Bridget? Thank you. I hope I can make something out of her. Even if mine doesn't look good, you'll learn from my mistakes and you can make yours look a whole lot better. You'll, you know, it'll give you the ideas. My, my whole thing is I don't want this, I don't want it looking perfect. I want this to be real loose. Oh, Jody, you're so sweet. 
you just received your, uh, was that your, uh, it, that's the other thing about comments on the phone, is they disappear so fast. Oh, thank you, Glenda. Oh, y'all are so sweet. Hey, Kathy. I'm okay. I'm a little rattled right now, but it's all right. I'm hanging with my friends, so it's all good. Oh, Judy, thank you so much. Oh, I'm not able to watch you. Uh, Oh, do we have somebody else new? Anybody who's new, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. What a day for you to pop in for the first time. Y'all, I don't think I'm usually this. <laughs> this has me out of sorts. <laughs> These stupid technical issues. So we're just putting another coat on her gown. And you know, I think angels should look wispy, right? Wispy's okay for angels. And then I need to, let me see if I can work on her face, her head a little bit more. Lori said something about the tech stuff. Oh, okay. Somebody heard about me on the turquoise valentine. Thank you so much. That's my sweet friend, Lee. And uh, we got to go shopping with our other friend yesterday and we laughed. Oh my goodness, we had so much fun. I think we all just needed a, you know, a girl day and uh, just had a really good time. Did some shopping, had lunch, laughed and laughed. And um, so, yeah, it kind of recharges your battery. And then she did the, the screen mini screen porch door last night. Oh, it was so cute. Like she said, it was like, you know, out of a Hallmark movie. Cute little door out of a Hallmark movie. Okay, here's where we are so far. Hmm, I have to look at it in the phone. So it's kind of shiny. I also want to add, while I'm at it, why not add a little bit of gold to her um, gown? What I'm going to do here. I'll go back. I'm going to have to go back and read your comments that I missed. You know, the joy of getting to do this with y'all is interacting and seeing your comments. Right? Okay, and while we're at it, let's let's get a detail brush. Oh, thank you, Becky. I hope y'all will like it. I want y'all to try it, and I want you to post it in the Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs group, and let me see them. I want to see what y'all do. Now, okay, you know, a halo is just kind of a flattened out oval, so we're just going to... give her just a simple y'all saw how easy that is just a little halo right and I want to define her wings so let's see I'm just trying something out I'm gonna see what it looks like to kind of outline them in gold paint and it doesn't have to be perfect obviously because we I don't like it to be perfect It'll just kind of define her wings a little bit more when we move back so y'all can see better. Now, why didn't I do this wing first? 
because I'm out of sorts. There's one. What do y'all think of it with the the outline? I know it's hard hard to see on there, but it, it really does make a difference. Diamond dust those wings. If I had some, I would, Lori. That would be gorgeous. Um, you know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wasn't gonna get up, but you know. Let me let me just let me uh, chart my path of where I think it is. I know I have some gold, really fine gold glitter right over here. Do y'all mind? Who said that? Love the outline. Looks good. Okay. I just tried to reorganize back here, and I know it's in the... There it is. Ah! Okay. So what if... Look how fine this is. Can y'all see that? What if I just do like a line of um, Elmer's glue around the edge and maybe even on her halo and sprinkle this on there? What do y'all think? Should we do that? So it would be a gold glittery outline. What do y'all think? Hearts. Thank you for the hearts. <laughs> Feeds my soul. Okay, so I still don't have any comments, but I can see some of them. Go for it. Why not? Why not? We've all, we, you know, good great. It's gone this far south. Why not? <laughs> just see how far south we can go in one live. Okay, so I've just got Aileen's tacky glue. Let's see. I don't, you, oh, oh I think I might have comments. Everybody hold your breath. Goodness, do I have comments? I see Patty said yes, and Anna said that would be great. Yes to the glitter, Dana said, okay, here I go. Um, I'm, 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 I'm just make sure this is gonna come out. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So, they, they, they're not moving yet, but we can, We'll, hold, we'll just see. Maybe. Maybe by the end of the live, I'll have comments. Oh, I think this might end up being really pretty. So, do I need to get some diamond dust? Well, tell me about diamond dust. I've heard about it. Where do you get it? I need to look it up. I should know these things. All right, here it goes. <laughs> no, they're not moving down here. It's just frozen. So I see three comments, and I'm just frozen in a silly mess. This is the finest, powderiest glitter. I don't know what this is or where I got it. I may have inherited it from somebody. Somebody may have given it to me. I don't know. I'm going to have to get out a paper plate to, to catch all that the leftover. Goodness, I've never seen glitter this fine. Oh, but it's so pretty. It's a beautiful color. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone for a second. Oh, I'm so sparkly. So sparkly. Still, still nothing down there. Diamond dust is actually glass. You need to be careful. With, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Your Hobby Lobby had it? Oh, Dottie, it's your first time. Please forgive me for this being your first time. I promise I'm usually more together. And next my next one's Thursday. I will have my other laptop in here because this is a mess. I'm not going through this again. But thank you for being here and welcome. I hope you'll give me another chance. Because my goodness, today I just have made a mess. 
Okay, so there's her little halo. I'm so scared to pour it, but just put some out in the the lid and dump it like that. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, now let's do the other wing. Well, that scares me, you know, if it's going to cut my fingers. So, you've got to wear special gloves to use it? What? But it's just real sparkly. I'm going to have to look that up. Mm, see, I can't even see what Judith said. But y'all are still giving me hearts, and that's very sweet. Want to diamond photos. Hmm, photos. And somebody got on late and watched, was going to watch the replay. Okay, thank you. Okay, goodness. We are almost, almost to the end. I think I'm going to touch her up a little bit, though, after this part. Looks much better than trying to sprinkle it with my fingers. Now, I think what I'm gonna do, nope, that'll make a mess. Let me see if I can find a paper plate. It ought to be right down here, yes, okay. Oh, I'm gonna try not to make a huge mess out of this. Hey, Mary, oh, thank you, sweet thing. Thank you for saying that. okay, isn't it? What do you think? She's all glittery now. She doesn't look exactly like I had in my head, and I just got to get over that part. I'm going to have to do another one of these and do her a little bit better because I still think her head's a little too big, but that's okay. That's all right. Let's do, first of all, let me close this before a, a wind blows and we have... <laughs> the sparkly everywhere. Um, what I wanted to do is kind of have some little stars on the black part of the background. So, oh, thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you for saying that. So, I'm going to dip back into my metallic white. I hope this doesn't just ruin everything. But I think I'm going to just do some simple little... Now, you see, I'm holding the paintbrush way far back on the handle because I want it to be really loose and imperfect, and I'm barely touching. make some little stars and I still think let me let me just try if, you know bear with me here let me try something I've got an idea I'm gonna get this little bitty filbert brush and I'm gonna dip into the black let's just try it and I want to thin out her face her head just a little because now that that flesh tone we used is dry. So the black will cover, it won't, won't mix. 
and you can always don't give up on something you there are always ways to find to to correct mistakes or things you don't like in your acrylic paintings is that a little bit better shape? I like that a little bit better. I like that a little bit better. Oh, somebody did a similar one for her sister-in-law and then it went away and I can't see it. It makes a huge difference, Rula. The, the thinning down her, her head. I even think, I don't even want to do. I want to come in a little bit more here. And here. Oh, that's so much better. That's so much better. So if you let that paint dry, if you let acrylic paint dry, you can correct it all. If you, you know, if you let the whole thing dry, if you hate it, paint over the whole thing. I've done it a million times. You don't throw a canvas away. I'm even gonna kind of, if you wanted to add hair, you know, give her, make her look like, you know, somebody. Put their hair color on there. So that's a little bit, yeah, I like that head shape better. Now, the next thing I want to do is, let me see, can, can I buy this one? Oh, that is so sweet, Charlotte. Message me, message me. I've been, well, I've been, um, thinking about adding some pieces that I have here in the studio that need to move out to the online shop. So if y'all are interested in that, um, yeah, let me know and I'll, I'll just put them in the shop and whoever wants them, uh, can buy them and I'll just, you know, I'll calculate what shipping would be and we'll, we'll add that into the price. Y'all are so sweet. So I'm just adding a little bit more of this um, metallic white to make her gown just a little bit more opaque. We're getting somewhere, right? I think it's kind of pretty. It turned out okay, huh? What do y'all think? You have to look at it in here and yeah she's all right you know sometimes they just don't turn out like they you have them in your head but a piece of lace is the bike oh i love that idea nancy hey becca oh oh thank you thanks lee i appreciate it you're painting a church okay I've got to see that. Oh, I'm glad y'all like her. She's different. I mean, I wanted that different background. I don't know. It just kind of seemed like the night <laughs> for what that's worth. I don't know. I don't know what, but um, I think I might should have had a little bit more um, black in the background. Of course, you could take a music sheet and paint this angel on it, make her wings, you know, the white and gray instead of music sheets. You know, there's all kinds of ways. And it's, you saw how easy that was. Just mess with it, mess with it until you like it. And I love, I love, can y'all see that, that it's such fine glitter, how it kind of comes off the edges of the wings too. And I like that. I think I like that. All right, are y'all gonna try it? And I did it right in an hour, even with all these issues, and I didn't get to see all your comments, and I'm very, very sorry. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Wendy. You love the background, Rula? I love that kind of background. I really like that. Um, I thought you could use a palette knife, you know, where you're just kind of scraping it. I don't know why, but I love that kind. Oh, thank you so much, Julia. Nancy, that's sweet. Well, good. I'm so glad. I think I already have a plan for Thursday. 
live as well. So y'all come back and, and um, hopefully I'll be able to see your comments better on Thursday and have a better camera angle and all that. So <laughs> if this was your first time watching, give me another chance, okay? <laughs> This is how it usually goes, I promise. But y'all are so sweet to hang out with me. And um, I'm already looking forward to Thursday afternoon, 4 o'clock Central. If you want to get on the text list, you know, if you want to get on my texting service so you'll get a text before each live, I'll also send out a text when we restock uh, the ladder tiered trays. I'll send out a text when I add things to the shop, like, original artwork. I'll be sure to let you know. Um, and I'll post on my page, but the number is 901-519-2666. Um, so yeah, I'd love for you to join that so you don't miss out on any lives. Janet, thank you so much for the stars. Y'all are so sweet and generous with me. I, I appreciate it. It is that easy, Cecile. I showed you. It's just so easy to do. I didn't really particularly make it look that easy because <laughs> I had all the issues today, but it really is easy. Just, you know, look around. Like I said, you can start out with a piece of cardboard. See, in my mind, if you had a big piece of cardboard, like a, the side of an Amazon box, and you just rip it instead of cutting it, or if you cut it and then peel that top layer so you can see the corrugation around the edges, it makes the coolest frame it's so pretty and then if you want to you know you can stick it in a what I've done before is I've taken um, a frame that's bigger than that piece of cardboard and I will mount it onto some kind of backing it might be a black piece of scrapbook paper um, any kind of scrapbook paper then you mount that piece of cardboard that you have your painting on and then frame it and so it's 3d inside the frame it just makes a beautiful uh background for your painting so those fun things to try fun little things to to try out that don't cost you a dime if somebody's got some amazon boxes or you can go somewhere and find s some cardboard you know so anyway getting the text is great okay I never, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that's working out. I haven't had it very long. And so I'm glad that's working. I, f I forgot one live. I forgot to send out the text. I felt so bad. I got to get in the habit. But I did send it out today. It was a little late because I had lost my internet. So anyway, thank y'all for being here. I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you hopefully back here Thursday at 4 Central. Bye, y'all. Love you.